Good morning, students. Uh, I, Dr. Sushmita Shah, welcome you all in my lecture. Uh, today, I will continue a question. Uh, what are the uh, seven C's in business communication? So, I am starting the question. Uh, the importance of seven C's in the business communication. There are seven C's of effective communication which are applicable to both written as well as oral communication. Uh, why? Because seven C's has given a, a greater impact in the business communication. These are the seven C's, clarity, conciseness, correctness, consideration, courtesy, completeness, and concreteness. First of all, we will have to discuss the question that is called the clarity. What do you mean by the clarity? Clarity means clearness of thought and expression, clarity of thought and clarity of expression, Clarity of thought means objective, medium, and message should be cleared. Clarity of expression means use of simple words, single word for long phrases, using verb for nouns, avoiding double entry, using concrete expression, preferring active constructions, avoiding excessive use of infinitives, avoiding jargons, avoiding ambiguity, using short sentences. If we are talking about the conciseness, what do you mean by the conciseness? Conciseness means brevity. Be precise as possible in your ideas because whenever we are talking about the uh, preciseness, preciseness always gives the clarity in the communication. Uh, so in the name of the conciseness, we will have to follow, include only relevant facts, avoid repetitions, avoid verbosity, and proper organization of the messages. Then. Uh, coming to the third part that is called the correctness. Correctness means the accuracy. Correctness means also the provide uh, the correct facts in the correct time and always up to date information. Give correct facts, send your message at the correct time and send your message at the correct style. Because if whenever we are giving the correct messages, the uh, <laughs> receivers always want to know that which kind of correct messages we are providing. So always give the up to date information in the correct messages. Coming to the next part, come, that is called consideration. What do you mean by the consideration? Consideration means the belief in other person's existence in the communication. It is the effectiveness of communication. Human beings are basically interested about the own self. So, but in the communication, belief receivers existence in the important. Uh, and, and in the name of the consideration, always uh, follow the adopt you attitude and avoid gender bias. And whenever you are discuss everything, always try to discuss everything on the point of view of the receiver's side. Then come to the consideration. Consideration means the follow the other person's existence in the communication. So that's why emphasize positive and pleasant facts, impart integrity to your message, show sincerity and judiciousness whenever you are passing the information because your information is very important. If you are, if you will be sincere, the receivers will also feel sincerity and they will have to take the communication in the same way. Coming to the courtesy, uh, courtesy is the one kind of uh, attitude that is we are showing to the other people. So show friendliness through your communication, maintain formality with the friendliness, answer the communication promptly, omit irritating expressions, apologize sincerely for the omission of facts, Thanks generally for a favor. And whenever you will show these following attitudes, it will give you uh, the, same, uh, um, the same thing from the receiver sides also. And if, in the name of the Karsi, Karsi are three types. Uh, that is horizontal Karsi, how Karsi works in the horizontal communication, how Karsi works in the upward communication, how Karsi works in the downward communication. In the horizontal communication, employ empathy. That is show your empathy to the receiver. In the upward communication, keep your message brief, complete, be courteous, respectful, but firm and not funny. Then in for the downward communication, be brief, clear and courteous. Don't be officious, over critical, rude and sarcastic. Coming to the next part that is called the completeness. Completeness of facts are necessary. Give specification of the products. Uh, suppose you are going to purchase a, a shirt from the market. So <laughs> try to give the size, color, quantity, 
quality make everything suppose you are conducting a conducting a meeting you will have to give the answer of all wh questions like whenever uh, when you will have to conduct the meeting why you are conducting the meeting uh, what is the purpose of the meeting uh, what will be the agenda of the meeting so there are the, so many questions that is called the wh question so check for all wh questions and proper organization of matter is important coming to the last part of the question that is called the concreteness concreteness is the concrete information to the receiver if you are giving the information your information should be the concrete one so concrete uh, communication implies particular and clear rather than fuzzy and general concreteness tendens the confidence concrete messages have the following features it is supported with specific facts and figures it makes a use of words that are clear and that builds the reputation and concrete messages are not been misinterpreted so that's why these are the important things that is called the concrete uh, concreteness and concreteness also implies the receiver the satisfaction so these are the seven c's whenever you are doing the communication always maintain the seven c's in your business communication thank you